to another studio vlog. It was actually my sister's graduation at the end of this video, but I'm putting it at the start. So I needed to choose an outfit. I was really, I don't know what to wear to a graduation as a guest because I've only been to one and that was mine. But I chose this beautiful pink dress with like green accents and Anna Luisa Jewelry are kindly sponsoring this video and so I wanted to pair some of their pieces with the dress. Their packaging is sustainable and recyclable and I chose these pieces with green gemstones and malachite or malachite, I'm not sure what it's called, and these beautiful earrings which make it look like you actually have two piercings instead of one. I want to share with you the Anna Luisa sale and you can buy one and get 40% off using my code in the description below. And I think they really, really complimented the dress really well. And I was so excited to go and celebrate my sister's special day. And I would just like to say a huge thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring this video. We've been partnering up for years now. I wear their jewelry all the time. I pieced these new pieces together with my rings that I've had for about two years now, and they still look fabulous. So thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Now let's go find my sister. Welcome to another studio vlog. I am up early this morning because I am awaiting the delivery or the collection, sorry, to take place because it didn't happen yesterday or the day before. It's Wednesday, by the way. They didn't have pallets and they expected me to have pallets. And I've said that I don't because obviously I'm in a house. I'm not in a warehouse or anything. Um, so there's obviously some miscommunication and confusion going on somewhere, but hopefully the delivery collection will take place today between 9 and 12. It is currently around about half nine now. So in the meantime, while I'm waiting for the delivery to take place, collection, I keep calling it delivery, it's a collection. Um, I need to finish off the sale orders and hopefully head to the post office after they've been. Fingers crossed, everything goes to plan today. I need to order more puffle to pack my orders. And I think I've also perfected the um, budget planner refill. Um, I'm hoping they're the right size. So these pages are A6 size and this planner is an A6 planner. So the pages are slightly smaller, obviously inside. Um, so we have the savings goals and the savings calendar and your expenses for the month. And then we have the weekly budgets. So you can see what's going in, what's going out, how much you've spent in total, um, what you're saving for. And then it repeats every month. So I'm really happy with the way it looks. The pages are nice and thick. I'm not sure um, if I should offer them in like three months, like quarterly or four months, or maybe do like options so people can choose how many months they would like. Um, I'm not even sure if they will sell well. It's just something that I wanted to try for a while now, but I think they look really good in the planner and I can't wait to fill in mine.
have an exciting delivery, which I think may be the desk planners, the weekly ones. So I'm gonna open those up and see if they're correct and hopefully add them to the shop if they are. Strange on top. And uh, the underneath is okay. The rest seem great. Oh, the paper is really smooth. It's like silk. It's beautiful. So I can finally take pictures of these and add them to my shop. Good morning, it is 7 a.m. and we're starting with a nice early walk because I want to wear mochi out because I have an appointment at Specsavers at 9 a.m. this morning. Uh, when I've come downstairs recently, he's been chewing his bed, like there's fluff everywhere. And I'm thinking, is it because he's bored? Is it because he's anxious? I'm not sure, but I got up really early this morning and he was still chewed to pieces, wasn't it? So I just come back from the opticians. I had to have eye drops to dilate my eyes. I keep wanting to say dilute. Um, so everything's really bright right now. So I'm wearing these ridiculous sunglasses on a cloudy day, um, looking like a weirdo. Um, but I went to check like floaters in my eyes because I've noticed a lot over the past couple months and like years in general. And they're just really annoying and I wanted to check them out. Um, basically, long story short, the optician said that I, I have something called blue light phenomenon, blue light ectopic phenomenon, blue, something like that, which means my eyes can see their own blood vessels. 
um, and there's nothing I can do about it. It's not dangerous. It's just very, very, very annoying. So whenever I'm looking around, I think everyone else, like normal people can see, you know, the normal floaters and stuff. But these are like giant splodges that I see constantly. And I was worried about them. I was worried about them clogging up my eyeballs. Like they're literally like snow globes. My eyes are like snow globes sometimes. Um, so I once again checked out because I was worried because I am an overthinker and a panicker. Um, yeah, and basically my eyes are just looking at themselves or, or something. I don't know. I'm going to Google it when I get home. I can't actually see right now. So I'm just waiting in the car with a drink um, until I feel safe enough to drive and hoping that Mochi hasn't chewed his bed. Guess who didn't chew their bed? This guy didn't. He was such a good boy. Was you a good boy? Are you sunbathing? <laughs> so I've just put my cricket on and it's moving really fast. I don't think I have her on fast mode, but And it's not reading the sensor marks. What is it doing? Let's try this. So I turned it off, but the light is still on. How does that work? The light is still on. Oh, oh, okay. I'm back on. I came back on. What's going on? Okay, let's try again. <laughs> why it's scanning so fast i haven't changed any of the settings and it says speed automatically set i haven't heard it make that sound before so i have no idea what it's doing okay so it seems to be cut in at a normal speed so that's that's good but how weird Okay, the blade seems fine. What is going on? Have you seen the the blue? You can be red, you can be blue, <laughs> you can be pink, you can be yellow, you can be purple. It makes me look old. <laughs> it looks like it's floating. <laughs> yes, we're doing some photos uh, for the fun of it, for no reason at all, really, for the website. See what we can do. Mochi sleeping. So we're going to see what we can do. Okay, let's go. Okay. Good boy. <laughs> people, people, ball or stick? A ball or stick? I need the ball. so excited to try out this new label printer which was kindly gifted to me by Munbin. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have never used a label printer before in my life and they kind of scared me like the price of them and I wondered why I needed to use them. I've been writing addresses since starting my business um, and I use drop and go at the post office but every other small business i know swears by them so when munbin contacted me i had to say yes to try this out plus the printer itself is pink and it matches my office 
Um, so this comes with everything you need, the cables, the USB stick, the drivers, the downloads. The instructions were so, so clear. So I set everything up, popped the USB in the back of my Mac and set it all up and it was good to go. Ready to print some labels later on in the video. Morning. it's saturday i cleaned my studio yesterday it looks amazing um i will be working this morning i need to go to the post office but she has just taken his seat um i need to go to the post office i need to pack the patreon boxes and send them because it is what day is it the 30th no 31st 30th it's the last day of april which means the patreon boxes here have to be sent out. Yeah, so I'm spending my Saturday in the studio. I have a new label printer, which I'm very excited about, is here. Um, I'll do a proper like introduction and everything about that so you can see how it works and I'm obsessed with it. I feel like a real business now. I, it's been, what, 10 years roughly of me writing each and every single address. So this is like next level, but I feel bad because when I print a label, it means I won't be going to the post office and using my local post office to send, um, to buy postage. And I like supporting them. So pros and cons. Yeah, I'm looking forward to using it more and seeing what else I can do. I also had these sent to me as well. So we'll, uh, I think they'll be nice for like packaging stickers maybe. But um, yeah, so let's get on with the day. cricket and my mac has decided not to play ball right now it's been frozen for the past 20 minutes but i made some labels with my new label printer which i'll show you now here they are they turned out really well i think i'm really impressed it was so easy to do i have those labels um which are for branding purposes and then i have the labels for actual shipping um that i'm gonna try out once i get my computer working weekend we actually went to an outdoor cinema um we weren't happy about going because i booked this in january and it was actually forecast to rain all day so we wore thousands of layers um pitched up our little seats and you know what it was a really lovely evening we were lovely and toasty had all the snacks the screen was huge the atmosphere was lush and we watched Harry Potter and it was a really great night. So I really recommend if you can go to a cinema like this near you. You're a wizard, Harry. 
Good morning or afternoon, I'm not sure what the time is. I think it's actually gone 12 o'clock now. It is Tuesday and we just celebrated a nice long bank holiday weekend here in the UK. Although my partner doesn't get bank holidays off, so we were kind of both working, um, but I kind of just took it a bit easier than usual. But today I need to get back into it. After a long weekend, it's always so hard to get back into the swing of things with work, especially after such a nice weekend. We booked our first holiday together and we are going in just over two weeks time. Um, so I can't wait for that. I've also been trying my label printer, uh, which I love. It was kindly gifted to me by Munbin. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll put the link in the description, but I love everything about it. I didn't think it would work as easily as it does, but it does, it works flawlessly. The one thing I noticed, not with the printer, but with shipping in general is how expensive it is. And as a business owner, I should already know this. I should know my shipping prices. But they recently increased in the UK in April um, and I didn't, I thought it was just by a little bit, but I, it was by a lot. So for example, I've learned that shipping one of these planners, so an A4 planner, this size, to the USA from the UK actually costs £8 and £5 for standard untracked shipping. And since forever, I've been charging, depending on where people are buying them from, between three to five pounds international shipping. And I actually charged three pounds recently for this. Um, so I've been undercharging massively for shipping to the US. No wonder I've been spending so much money at the post office. What I do is I do drop and go currently. So that means I have all my parcels piled up. I drop them off at the post office and I go. And then I collect the receipts and everything next time I arrive and drop off another batch. Um, but then that means I'm not really checking how much the shipping is exactly. And since using the label printer, I have been doing my own shipping labels. And when I done this one yesterday and seen it was eight pounds, I was like, that can't, that can't be right. So I checked Etsy shipping, Royal Mail Online and everything else. And eight pounds and five pence for standard untracked shipping is the go-to for one of these for the US and most international places from the UK, which is extortionate. And then last night, um, I had an order on my shop uh, for one of these, um, not this one, but a seconds one. So the Daisy ones, um, I'll show you now. So last night I had an order for this exact planner. It's a seconds in the second sale because it opens that way instead of up, like I usually like it. Um, and in the second sale, these are five pounds. But this was shipping to America, and so the shipping was three pounds. Um, but then it was from my lovely Patreons, and they get a special discount. And I didn't know, I wasn't aware my discount code was working on sale items. So I thought I set up the voucher for, um, you know, any vouchers not to work in conjunction with other vouchers and other sales. But for some reason, the Patreon discount has been working with my sale items. So. This ended up being a total of seven pounds. Um, that's for the planner and the shipping to the US, but the label itself costs me eight pounds and five pounds to buy, not including like the packaging materials and everything I use. So this is probably one of, one of a few orders I've lost money on since growing my business. Um, and you would think that these mistakes are usually made when setting up your business and starting out, but I am here to tell you that we still make these mistakes even like five to 10 years down the line. Shipping is hard to keep up with. And I didn't know this was so expensive. So that's a mistake that I've made recently. So I'm about to change that now. Also, since using the label printer, I've been looking at my local post boxes just because I didn't, none of my post boxes fit in this size. They all fit in A5, um, smaller but none of them fit this size, which is annoying. However, I found one yesterday that fits this size, but it was full, so I couldn't post anything in it. So I'm gonna pack some orders today, change the shipping prices, and then head down to the post box with Mochi and drop off these. So just got some new Cricut mats from Amazon. These are not Cricut branded, they are a, a different brand. Um, but I used these before. I used these before and I found that the size was a bit off. However, I just, I, it was a few years ago and I just checked the reviews and people said that the size is great with the Cricut Explore A2. So I'm going to give them another go, especially because the 
real branded Cricut mats are quite hard to find and quite expensive everywhere. So I'm going to try these. It was time for an upgrade. I mean, look at what I've been using. It is broken in multiple places. There's a crack somewhere. There's a crack there and a crack there somewhere. So it was time for a lovely upgrade. Also quickly just want to show you the freebies I've been working on. So I had a bit left over from my orders lately, um, a bit of stickers. So these have been going in, let me just focus, I'm not used to this camera yet. These have been going in all the orders lately, along with these thank you cards. So we have such a boss. Um, Dioch, which means thanks in Welsh. You're the best. Such a boss. You're a queen. Uh, you shine. So organised. That's my favourite one. Um, but yeah, so they've been going in orders lately. And I feel so good when my packaging game is like the best it can be. So thank you cards, which double as like little freebies you can put on the wall. Um, stickers. The postage labels. My packaging tape. Um, yeah, I feel good about my packaging at the moment. So I want to show you how cool and easy this label printer is and the fact it's pink it just gives me life so it just switches on at the back here and then you can see the on button there um, and then I just go to my settings so try not to show you the address choose the Munbin um, and this is in millimeters but on my other program it's in inches so these are six by four labels and I found that this set in here is the best one um, and then that fits the label, fits the printable area, press print, and then we should have, fingers crossed, it should work. That's it, let me just tear it off. Super, super, super easy. I am very, 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 very impressed. I feel like such a professional now. I even made these little um stickers with my, my branding on so I don't have to print them on the Cricut anymore. It's just so so efficient and it means i don't have to spend petrol going to the post office however i do enjoy going to the post office because i'm supporting my local post office because i know the prices are exactly the same that's one thing i've noticed i thought that every price online was cheaper than going to the post office by like five to ten pounds but that is not true so it's cheaper for parcels so small parcels and large parcels or small packages and large packages but it's not cheaper for letters, small letters and large letters. They are exactly the same price. And 99% of everything I ship are letter sizes. So it's not saving me money on postage, um, but I guess it's saving me money on petrol. Yeah, I'm gonna head out to the post box to post the uh, packages that I printed using my label printer. And uh, Mochi's gonna come with me for a little walk. Um, yeah, I need to paint the wall behind me very soon, but. Yeah, let's go. So, got to the post box only to find out that it didn't fit the, let the large letters in. <sighs> Mochi is pulling me like no tomorrow. Started to rain, a um, bit of a disaster. So, I just got back from the walk to the post box and the letters, the large letters fit through the hole, but didn't go down. And I thought it was because maybe the box was full, uh, but it wasn't because it's been emptied this morning. So the large letters just don't go down the post box, they don't fit. I'll show you the size. So it's this size, A4, well, C4. Um, they fit, you know, through the box, but then it kind of got stuck and it was just like, sitting there. These were totally pointless in um, getting labels for because I'm going to have to go to the post office anyway to drop them off. Uh, people might watch this and laugh but I just don't go to the post boxes because they never fit in what I need them to fit in anyway. I never use labels before. I've always just dropped them off at the post office. This has been a bit of a learning curve for me. <laughs> Buying labels, adjusting my shipping prices, seeing what fits in the post boxes. Like there's one post box down the road 
that only fits in A6, which is uh, a very small greeting card. And then the other post box fits only A5. This post box fits A4, but sort of doesn't. Very confusing. Also, I can't believe people have been tagging me on Instagram because they have found my products stocked in TK Maxx. And I've sort of kept it quiet-ish. I haven't like not mentioned it, but I didn't want to shout about it everywhere on YouTube and on Instagram for a while until they were on the shelves. And I didn't know they were on the shelves yet. And I was there two days ago and I didn't think to check. But people on Instagram have been tagging me because they found my stationery on the shelves in TK Maxx. And now it just feels real. So yeah, Coco Natasha is stocked in TK Maxx. Which is crazy. I wish I could like say this to my younger self. Um, yeah, crazy. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go tonight and see if, if they're there because I'd love to see it for myself. It's just been such a long time since I had the order and I had my parents over and we were packing everything. I know for you guys, it'll be literally the last vlog that I did, but for me, that was like two months ago. We did that in March. Yeah, it's done. I am, it's out. Coco Natasha products, my stationery can be found in TK Maxx. Um, if you'd like to find it for yourself, I think you better be quick because I'm not sure. I don't think there's many in each store. So I really want to rush down to my store tonight and see if they're there just so I can get like a picture with them and everything and just be really cringy and yeah. Right, so I'm back in the studio. Um, now I need to work on, I don't have any ink. I'm just waiting for ink to arrive, which means I can't print any orders. Um, however, because I'll be going away on holiday at the end of the month, um, I have a week less of work this month, which means I need to get more in in the next two weeks than usual, um, including Patreon boxes. I'm going to do them now or work on them now. Last month's theme was um, Box of Sunshine, and I'll put a little picture here. They were beautiful. They had a greeting card, an art print. I really, really enjoyed doing that theme. So I think I'm going to carry on with the themes. And this month's theme is called Pot of Gold. So I'm thinking like lucky things, um, everything in gold, gold stickers, gold foil, um, gold, <laughs> golden sunshine and things like that. Um, I, I don't know. I just like the box um, theme and foil and stuff. So let's design the stuff to go in the box. Walk into the place, dispatch your phone away's my heart, it started racing. Crowd across the way, flower was on your face, and then I'm from the eighties. Someone keeps back in my way. So I think I am done designing this month's Patreon boxes. If you are a Patreon subscriber or you are thinking of subscribing to the goodie box tier and don't want to see and want a surprise for me, please look away now. As your warning, so I have this greeting card. Let me zoom in. Oops, 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 oops. So this greeting card uh, matches the previous month's greeting card. It's the same sort of style, um, but it's about luck. Everything in black here will be in gold foil, the same as this card, which ended up being beautiful. Um, this one, all about luck and things like that, because the box is called Pot of Gold, and this sort of reminds me of, like, uh, leprechauns and um, luck of the Irish and stuff like that. Um, then I want to design a gold sticker, so everything here will be in gold, and this says make your own luck with the little clovers around it again. And then I'm thinking to make this into a packaging sticker. So they'll be like, I don't know, maybe 10, 20 of them on, on a page. Again, a uh, gold foil, a bit smaller than that one um, and duplicated. Then this art print saying, you're so magical. So the background all in purple. It kind of reminds me of like crystals, this um, like sort of like geode type of pattern. And then everything in black here again will be printed in gold foil. And then I was looking at scratch off uh, labels and I was thinking of doing like a manifest, not a manifest, um, an affirmation card set. So maybe these will be, I think, A6 in size um, or maybe A7 and I have gold envelopes to go um, for them to go in. But these circles will be stickers, gold stickers. You can scratch off with a coin and underneath will reveal the word. So they're like um, affirmation cards. And I think that'd be nice as a, like, a little gift set. 
So that is the boxes for this month. Um, I think I'm happy with how they look and how everything um, is. It's the 3rd of May and I have finished designing the boxes. I just need to order in the scratch off stickers. Um, yeah, I usually do the box right at the end of the month, but because I'll be going away, I won't have time and I don't want my holiday to impact anything on Patreon because, I mean, it shouldn't. And Patreon is going so well lately. I've put so much more effort into it and I feel like uh, my patrons are enjoying the content and what I'm doing is working and it's useful. I've been doing Etsy tips pages, um, organisation I don't know if you can see that up there, but I'll put a picture. Organisation, um, labels and wholesale tutorials and tips and advice. So I think it's really going well. And the goodie boxes, I love them. Um, so, so, so proud of how they look uh, over the past few months. So I'm like constantly up in my game. So yeah, I ne they need to be good. I don't want my holiday to impact Patreon or my work in any way. Uh, so I'm just doing all I can. So I just got in the car and I want to take a trip to TK Maxx to see if they're my local shop because I would just like to see her in person. Um, so I'm going to drop Mochi off to my parents. Fingers crossed they're there. I can't feel farther away Wait on a moment to say that I want you You know that I want you So that was a couple of days ago. Um, we celebrated my sister's graduation since. But my stationery is in TK Maxx in my local shop and everyone's been tagging me in pictures since uh, on Instagram, sending me photos of where they're going shopping. Um, TK Maxx, where they are. I think we've had Kent, uh, Lem is it called Leamington Spa? Um, Germany, someone from Germany has messaged me saying that she found them in her shops because they went to Germany and the UK. Yeah, it's done. Like the order is complete. They are on the shop shelves. I can finally say that Coco Natasha Stationery can be found in TK Maxx in the UK and Germany. <sighs> and now I need to try and breathe and take it all in and let it all sink in because like I've waited so long for them to be on the shelves. It's sort of like the excitement didn't get a chance to like hit me until everyone started tagging me in pictures and I was like, oh, this is weird. This is really weird, but so, so awesome. Like the feeling is amazing. It's just been so long since we started. But yeah, I need to edit this vlog now and get it out. So I will speak to you soon. Next week, I think I'm gonna paint my living room, uh, sort out the flooring, but then I am gonna holiday. So maybe I won't have time because I got lots to do. But yeah, anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you soon.